So for today, we're going to be looking at the Worm Guard armor set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we usually review the armor, which is right here. We usually do the shader video, which is right here as well. And then we go into the individual class videos. So specifically, we get the armor from the Worm Guard set, take those pieces, and then make individual sets from those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. These are probably one of my more popular videos just because people get to see like what I do with each of the pieces. And also, it's really fun for me because it really helps me flex my creative muscle, so to speak. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it because my content, I push a lot of content, guys, especially for just being me. And I would very much appreciate a like, comment, subscription, uh, hit the bell notification to keep up with my current content. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet, and I definitely think this one is pretty cool. So for this one, we're going to be utilizing the chest piece and the helmet for the exotic we're going to be using shards of galanor for the boots strides of the anointed and then for the cloak canis luna cloak so this one i'm going for like a not a ramshackle but like my hunter is is basically like out in i don't know if i want to say like in the forest or kind of like not definitely not in the cities but i guess in destiny 2 the cities are super like overgrown already so that I, that is actually a pretty good point because for the strength of the anointed you guys will see that there's a lot of iron in there and it looks very ramshackled which is not surprising considering this is from that one video game i forget what it's called um it's from horizon zero dawn which you guys if you guys don't know it's like earth is like super fucking in like it's like post like apocalypse it's like super far, far into the future so it makes sense that that armor is like has a lot of like not indian but very much like native american feel with like a lot of like modern metallic looks so i guess that's the best thing to say about this armor set is that it's basically just my hunter has been in the city and this is kind of like him coming back from the city with all of the stuff he's gotten so if you guys have a bit better description of this definitely let me know in the comments below for these shaders we're going to using we're going to be using tangled rust i really like the muted colors for this one because it makes it look more worn instead of new and then for the cloak we're using uh refined revels because unfortunately canis luna uh the cloak and the hood actually have different colors and i just wanted to combine it into one color and black seemed like the best one just because uh reasons yeah let me know what you guys think as for the next set we're gonna be utilizing the arms and this one i kind of imagined my cowboy had made some friends with some native americans and ended up getting like the arms are kind of like native american themes specifically like on the forearm on the left side that's kind of like where my head was going because i could not find anything that looked good with this and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna go for a cowboy that has made native american friends and that's really all that's really it so for the helmet scare and corvus mask is what we're using for the chest piece starfarer's vest and then for the boots the exotic is going to be speed loader slacks and then for the cloak, going to be using the TM Erp Custom Cloak Stetson. So nothing to explain about this one for the shader and silver snare is what we're using just because I want to combine all the colors into one cohesive look. Because unfortunately, Speed Loader slacks uh, the armor on the legs. Take the off color, which you guys can barely see. But I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to use a shader that I know is just going to make everything look good. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this one a lot. I will say I copped out a little bit with the theme of it, but at the same time, these arms are rough, man. If I'm being quite honest, I could have switched the arms uh, or the helmet for the arms for the first look, and then I feel like that would have been a little bit better. But I still like where my head was going with this one just because it gives it a little bit more of a story. As for the next set, we're going to be using the boots, and this one is my favorite one. This is the one that I actually have on my Girl Falcon's look, uh, on my loadout specifically, just because I do think it looks amazing. For the helmet, Iron Foreigner Mask with the Warped Rackets, because unfortunately, if you combine it with Iron to Steel, it has a really terrible color. You guys will actually see that color with the boots. But for the chest piece, Girl Falcon's Halberg is what we're using. Love this chest piece. For the boots, obviously, the Worm Guard stuff. But then for the cloak, Cloak of the Anointed. So let me explain a few things. This one, oh, for the arms, Iron Companion sleeves. Totally forgot. So for the for this look, I wanted to go for, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Because, like, the Girl Falcons, for me, gives off more like a, not Viking, but more of a, like, a knight look. But with this look, it kind of more looks like more of a like a nomad like a nomadic person and i was having trouble 
like pinpointing the exact like look of it in the worm guard armor review which again i should have it in this video or in the description i'll find a way where to put it but i was having trouble f like pinpointing like the actual wording of it because i said gypsy and i don't feel comfortable like saying that one because it's not really but it's like adjacent to that it's like like my hunter has has been has been through a, like a lot of the countryside and has picked up a lot of things over the years and then like, like this is how he comes out my only gripe is i think the iron companion sleeves are not a good fit the only reason i took them out is because a they have that bonding gene which i think goes really well with this whole look but then the plates uh the pauldrons look really cool with the actual plate of the girl falcon but if i'm being honest i want i want something a little bit more more randomized i guess I mean, to be fair this is this these arms are super asymmetrical but i want a little bit more of that so let me know what you guys think this one is definitely my favorite um out of all of them just because this one looks amazing but let me know what you guys think and last but not least we have the cloak and this one we're going to be utilizing the backpack and for this one i was honestly kind of played it safe i was just like fuck it we'll use the 8000 ornament for the frosties and then all of the other snow fits that i do so that way i can have like a actual snow like a uh, person who like climbs up snow like a climber snow climber kind of thing so for the helmet omni oculus mask is what we're using so that way i can take off the hood from the worm god cloak the siege breaker grips for the arms and then for the chest piece we're going to be using the new chest piece from the new dungeon which will be the dark age harness i like to combine the 8000 ornament with the dark age chest piece just because they look really cool they have rope um, on the same side as well and this one honestly is me playing it safe because i knew that i wanted to use the cloak for something like this just because it's the best like it's the best piece for it honestly now is there other better pieces definitely you can probably use some other cool things especially with the cloak because i do think the cloak is very unique but for me i wanted to play it safe and like just be like okay this dude obviously is like someone who climbs mountains and whatnot so let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the third one is my favorite just because I have it on in my actual build list. And speaking of build or loadouts, I will be making a loadout video of just showing you my loadouts for this season. And I probably might have multiple of those videos just because this season is pretty long. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Don't worry. I am currently working on the shader videos that I should have been done done by now. The or the exotic ornament videos. I'm also working on that as well and the exotic videos i have not forgotten i have them on the list and then um thematic videos which is something new that we're, we're going to be posting as well so i have a lot of content planned which is hilarious to me considering there's a lot of people a lot of content creators for destiny 2 that are just kind of like finding other stuff to cover but here i am like just multiple videos that i'm still kind of like working on going through and this is kind of like the funny part is just like when i have when there's new armor or when just in general like i have videos to work through so it's pretty funny remember like comment subscribe if you thought this video was dope other than that be safe i will see you guys later